There are so many diets out there, and honestly, I've, I've tried a lot of them. I've tried everything from paleo to vegetarian to vegan. I even tried fasting for a week. That was not a good experience. But after experimenting with many different diets, I've decided that diets suck. Generally, they're a little bit too extreme. They're 90 day, 60 day, 30 day, eat only carbs, eat only meat, eat only vegetables. They're really hard to stick to. Instead of trying to lose a bunch of weight really quick or gain a bunch of weight really quick, uh, I've tried to make some lifestyle changes, some simple choices that if I follow these guidelines, I will relatively uh, stay in shape, not have to worry too much about what I eat and feel healthy going forward. So this is my minimalist diet. First, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Gabe Boltz. I talk about minimalism, saving money, uh, intentional living, all that kind of stuff. So that's something that interests you. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. First of all, trying to have more whole foods. That means, you know, when you go to the grocery store, try to shop around the outside of the store where things aren't in packages. That means fruits and vegetables, meats, stuff that's not like highly processed. So staying away from, uh, you know, everything in a box, everything that's processed, microwaved, sugary, sugary, uh, you know, corny stuff that is throughout most of the store. It's surprising how many things uh, have like corn syrup in them. And, and anyways, when you're eating fruits and vegetables uh, and, and healthy meats and stuff like that, it's actually really hard to gain weight. At least it has been for me. I'm not naturally a thin person. I can eat like there's no tomorrow. Um, but when I start off my day with having, you know, like a bowl of oatmeal and berries, uh, and, and then some potatoes and some meat, it helps fill me up without having a bunch of junk food that has like three times as many calories for the exact same amount of weight of food. Don't over or under eat. There was a point in my teens where I thought I was heavy, so I was trying to lose weight. Uh, and I would just not eat. And I would have like one potato a day uh, and like just nothing. And I, I did lose a bunch of weight, but it was not healthy at all. It kind of messed me up a little bit. Uh, so don't do extreme diets or extreme stuff like that. It's all about being in a calorie deficit. So understand calories is another huge point. Take a week or two and start tracking your calories on like my fitness pal and find out how many calories are in an egg how many calories are in a teaspoon of olive oil or peanut butter or you know like fruit or vegetables like uh, like understand calories and understand how many calories you're burning in a day and then you simply need to get in a slight calorie deficit to lose weight that's pretty much all it comes down to. Obviously everybody's genetics and metabolism is a little bit different, but overall, if you're in a calorie deficit, you're probably gonna lose weight and you don't have to be in these extreme swings of way low and then the next day you're making up for it, you're having a cheat day and you're like 2000 calories over and then you're trying to cut it down and have 1200 calories one day. It's just like really, really hard to do these big swings. Stop eating food, that hurts you. It took me a really long time to understand what foods had different effects on my body. And I actually took some time to understand like, why do I have acne? Okay, it turned out uh, um, having a bunch of sugar was causing my acne. So I cut out all sodas and most of it went away. And I also noticed that if I have peanut butter, uh, that also causes acne and like just different things would upset my stomach. So that's why I can have, you know, a little bit of tomatoes, but I can't have a lot of tomatoes and I can have uh, yogurt, but I can't have whole milk and just understanding what different things uh, like cause you to feel different ways. And once you understand that, you can start selectively cutting out different things in your life. Uh, I've cut out gluten, I've cut out sugar, I've cut out a bunch of different, you know, specific foods. And now I have a pretty good amount of energy most of the day. My stomach's not in a huge amount of pain, which uh, used to be a lot just cause like I was having stuff that apparently I couldn't have. So take some time, listen to your body, even write down what you have every day and, and find out what can make your body run the best that it can because you're fueling your body. You're not just having eating be an event. It's actually something that fuels you. And if you put crap in, you're gonna get crap out. And if you put, you know, good high quality, uh, you know, energy inside yourself, you're gonna have a lot uh, more energy throughout the day. Take a hard look at your meats. I watched a documentary a couple of years ago and since then uh, I have pretty much made a hard shift to like grass fed, uh, you know, free range, cage free, local meats that are humanely raised and don't have a bunch of steroids and all this other crap pumped into them. And since I made that shift, it's not like some drastic, oh, my life has totally changed, but I do believe I have felt better. Uh, and, and also um, I don't feel like as guilty about like eating something that was raised in like horrible conditions. Which actually leads me great into the sponsor of this video, 
Butcher Box. Now, I've been using Butcher Box for a while and I have really enjoyed their stuff since I've made that shift over to uh, healthier, more organic meats, grass fed beef, stuff like that. And honestly, you can taste an insane difference between this meat and the meat that you might just get from the grocery store. A few things that I love about ButcherBox is that they have 100% grass-fed and grass-finished beef, free-range organic chicken. Their pork is raised crate-free, wild-caught fish, no antibiotics or added hormones ever. And the most important things is, well, first of all, that it tastes really good. And secondly, it is competitively priced with other meats. And if you guys use the link in the description, you're able to get two pounds of ground beef in every box for the life of your subscription for free. So if you guys want to check that out, link is in the description. Thank you again to Butcher Box for sponsoring this portion of this video. Buy local. I've also tried to shop as local as possible, I started going to farmer's markets uh, for all my fruits and vegetables and honey uh, and pretty much anything that I can get local. It tastes like so much better. Like if you have like a, an apple from a local farm and an apple from the store, it tastes almost completely different. One of them was shipped across the country, probably frozen a couple times. It just doesn't have as much flavor. It doesn't have as much nutrients. They give me no nutrients. And the other one actually like tastes amazing. <laughs> we also started a little bit of a garden out back and when you have the fruits or vegetables or strawberries from out there, it hardly tastes like the same thing. Like honestly, it has so much more flavor, so much more nutrients, uh, and just generally that's gonna be healthier for you. So as much as possible, just try to shop local in, in every area of your life, but especially with your food. Consider fasting. This is not gonna be for everybody, but for me, uh, something that has really helped me control uh, my weight is doing intermittent fasting. It's just the idea of not eating for like 16 hours a day and then you have like an eating window of like eight hours. So it's pretty much like skipping breakfast, which is generally like cereal or junky foods anyways. And when I do that, I'm able to eat a lot more because I can eat a ton and not really have like this huge calorie surplus that it's really gonna blow off my day. Um, so that's something that I've done. It's not gonna work for everybody, but for me, it's been really beneficial. Avoid oils. Well, some oils like avocado oil, coconut oil, or extra virgin olive oil can be healthy in small amounts. Having refined oils like canola oil or regular olive oil just have a lot of negative effects on your health, which I'm not gonna get into all of those, but generally they're just in a ton of different foods. They're extremely high calorie. They're really bad for you. Um, so just trying to cut out uh, that kind of like the other stuff, like cutting out processed foods and then also um, those refined oils is definitely gonna help your health overall. These are just my ideas. Obviously it's different for everybody, but if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.